If you want to avoid a default settings disaster like this, then jump into Star Citizen and follow along. Star Citizen's default joystick settings can be confusing and frustrating, but this video will walk you through them in minutes. If you do run into any issues though, there is a troubleshooting guide in the description below. The first thing we need to do is go into options. When we go into options, you're going to want to go to key bindings, then go down to the bottom right, and you're going to need to click on joystick HOTAS. Next, you'll need to come down to the advanced controls. And the first thing we want to do is get to flight movement. Now again, all we really want to bind in here is pitch, yaw, roll, our throttle, and strafe. So bind them where you choose. I use my stick for the Y axis. I use my rudder pedals for the X axis. And I use my stick again for the Z axis. These are personal choices, but this is what I'm using for Star Citizen. Now, when it comes to strafe, if you have analog, I'm gonna suggest using strafe up and down and then strafe left and right. Now, if you don't, you'll end up using the digital version. You may wanna change these here from these defaults. They're not gonna be as precise, but you have to work with what you have. Now, I'm gonna recommend that you use throttle forward and that you avoid using throttle forward back. There's only one joystick that I know of by default that has a center detent, and that is the X52 and X52 Pro. Using those will certainly give you the ability to go forward and back, but you're gonna lose some precision. So with some of these ships and with some certain types of movements, especially slow speed movement or even controlling your speed at combat, that extra precision is nice. What you can do instead is use this strafe forward back invert. Any other settings you want to change, go ahead and do that. I'm just working on the axes for the most basic controls for your joystick. Something to note is which input number your throttle forward and your strafe up and down are. Now, this is important because when we go up to controls, we're going to have to go back down to the right and select which joystick HOTAS that was. For us, it was number two. Now we need to go up into the inversion settings, flight movement, and then we're gonna find flight strafe up and down. And we want this to be yes, because otherwise by default, if you push up on the analog, it will go down. Just like with the throttle, you wanna also invert flight strafe forward, which I know is different than the name throttle, but this is the right one. And you wanna invert it so that when you go forward on the throttle, it goes forward. This is just more intuitive to me. This covers the basic setups for what you're going to need to do to get your joystick work from an axis standpoint only. Now that you're off and flying, subscribe to this channel for more Star Citizen tips and tricks.